just realized someone someone cut into my bag and some of my items didn't get here and this is how i open my bags i don't have a knife i would cut myself with a knife i can't make this straight this i can't make this happen because i don't use knives with my hands this is what it looks like but tomorrow i asked them to my mail for me and they haven't done that so tomorrow we'll see it what means happens that somebody is stealing my mail again and i didn't notice it And now I have to go to the cops again. And the mail people weren't very nice to me. When I asked them to hold my mail because someone was stealing it. And my mailbox is broken. Again. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> like this is what they're doing to me for all this time. I didn't even get, like, half the things I got I ordered online. <sighs> okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. We're going to the post office. And we're recording it. And then we're going to go to the mail. To the police station. So, I'll see you guys at, like, 7 o'clock. and she tends to take my things so i'm gonna file a restraining order against my mother okay and then file a general police report about what's happening this happened like someone cut it in cut into it with like a sharp knife and made this like almost perfect incision that i couldn't see okay. and then when i picked it up i thought there was things inside but there isn't and there was like over two hundred dollars of things and I, I have a stalker, so and I, we don't know his name. So you have I'm, a lot going on. Yes, there's a couple police reports, and I feel like I haven't been supported or heard. I just feel crazy, but I need to do this because I'm documenting it for our future. Like, if I get hurt or anything happens to me, um, there's records of it. Why so, do you think that you have a stalker? Um, because I have seen him and have a whole thing about... Uh, my group of friends decided to um, get me drunk and then drive me to another city and then call some guy to rape me. And then the guy uh, drove me back to Calistoga and then um, I made a police report about that. But then some of her friends, her name is Haley Andrews. One Where of her, did you make a police report at? Here. For and, rape? Yes, and then one of her, and then they, they, t they lied to the police saying that I wanted him to hook up with me but I, that's not true. Okay. Um, but uh, after that, the whole debacle of me like commit, trying to commit suicide because of that, because um, it ruined my life. Um, How long ago was that? That was four years ago. Okay. So I uh, would see this one guy, uh, he's a uh, short brunette. 
he would follow me around in his uh when i would walk my dog okay. my, my dog in town yeah okay. my dog died of cancer and um so i don't go outside anymore so it was harder for him to follow me okay and he would just show up so one day just like in sacramento he'd just show up on my trail and then just start talking to me and that happened several times and in I, sacramento yeah and i know his face and i saw him here at calmar okay and, like, once he uh he picked me up saying he was gonna like we we're gonna party or something and i didn't have any friends so i thought it would be fun because it was calistoga and then he ended up uh drugging me and then I, I don't remember what happened so you know who it is i don't know his full name i just know it's luke from this club in in san francisco called dna where i saw him so it's a repeated it's like i have to like this is evidence you know like it's repeated occasions where this one certain person has just appeared to me talking to me following me okay do you have an identification today yes how long have you lived in calistoga uh since 2001 okay and you live with your mom no she kicked me out when it, when i was eight, 18. so where's your mom uh here in calistoga she also lives here yes where does she live uh 1216 lincoln avenue that's okay. where i used to live okay yeah and things always disappeared so right now the more logical explanation is it's her mm -hmm. but i'm also thinking that it could be luke the stalker so you don't know exactly who it is no of course okay. not um do you have any kind of ring device or anything no a camera at your i'm door? gonna get one you should yeah um, but i need to make sure when that, was this delivered um i think earlier this month because the hold, I wrote the hold down for December, November 1st to uh -huh. December the 1st. And it, it, they just write hold on it, but they then, then they deliver it and it sits outside my house. Okay. Um, no, you because, like refund or because like I that? know that it wasn't Urban Outfitters' fault. It's, the package got fined to the post office. No, I understand. This I'm is just the asking. problem. The I'm, problem I'm is, not, was it the post office or was it somebody else? I'm not pushing house? blame. I was just asking if you contacted Urban Outfitters. Well, I just don't see that as like okay. uh, something uh, that I have to do. What, any, is there any other mail that's missing? Uh, right now, this is what I want to be concerned about. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Brenda, what's your date of birth? Uh, 0904-1995. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's when it all started because that's when I went out to the club in DNA and right. that's where I saw him. Okay. And then he came here. Are you here. friends on Instagram? Mm, he, he's a stalker. I, I've never exchanged any information with him. The only reason why I remember him is because he's the only one that's followed me and that has repeatedly just showed up at random places where I don't have phones. Does he say anything to you? Yeah, he tries to talk to me. He tells, oh. Have you ever tried to call the police when? Well, I didn't have a phone whenever he, the thing is he, he like sort of knows when I'm vulnerable. Okay. And he like just shows up. Okay. Like. Um, does he, what kind of car does he drive? several different cars different um cars? yeah he showed me a car on his phone the first night when i saw him at kelmart um it was like a yellow car so um, you've engaged with him yeah okay okay has he threatened you in any way he just says like you're my girl okay like you're my girl now and things like that okay um what's your mom's name maggie ramirez Maggie Ramirez? Yeah. It, it just makes me so paranoid because the girl, Haley Andrews, that drove me drunk to her house when I I was saying to go to take me back home. Mm -hmm. She talks to my mom. Like, they communicate okay. about how I'm crazy and okay. how, like, my mom sent me to rehab when she sent me to the mental hospital here. Uh-huh. Yeah, she talks to her and Haley's, like, uh, spreading rumors about me being a heroin addict and uh, they blocked me on all social media and they never said sorry or showed any empathy towards me or what happened to me. Okay. Do you take medication? I used to, but right no, now I don't have to. Okay. Um, tell me again where mom lives. 1216 Lincoln Avenue. 
And my mother's been physical with me whenever I'd go try to see my brother. And I made a report about that with Sam, but okay. she seemed biased and with a conflict of interest because she sides with my mom. So I don't feel heard. I feel like she's doing her job wrong. Talk to somebody else. Okay. Um, well, you can either come.